So I got another question about um, what I thought was first asking if I should go to a three-year program. And if that's the question, then uh, I would recommend going to the Pharmacy Podcast, the Pharmacy Future Leaders with Dallas Tolbert from the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. Uh, she had a really good uh, insight into the three-year program, and then she's an ambulatory care residency at the VA uh, in Richmond. Uh, but what they're really asking is, can I leave my job for three years? And how can I afford pharmacy school? Should I take out the loans? And I think it's a fiction, or I think it's something that you tell yourself that you have to work a job to make money while you're in school. Um, I was very fortunate that the book that I just wrote is, is doing really well. And if I wanted to, I could pay for pharmacy school out of pocket with what I'm making from uh, the audiobook now it's just doing really well but there's nothing in that book that someone that had finished their p2 year couldn't couldn't know so my recommendation is that you go to pharmacy school maybe you have a hundred and twenty thousand or hundred thousand dollars in loans you might be taking but think of ways that you can pay that while you're going to school and really it's about scratching that itch um, for me it was helping students uh, who just weren't getting it because they didn't have organic chemistry uh, but there's other problems out there that need to be solved. So easy with KDP to upload a Word document to make an ebook that you can monetize. Um, and then uh, if that does well, you can do the print book, you can do the audio book, so many different things. But uh, my recommendation is get out of your head that you can't make money until after pharmacy school. You can certainly do well with passive income uh, if you create products, if you create things that solve problems for other people.